Ahead of the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly in June 2023, Northern Bay's group Arawa Initiative for Good Governance has kicked against zoning of Senate presidency to a particular region or religion, saying that what should determine the next president of the Senate is character and competence. The group also notes that the unity and peace of the country, especially in the aftermath of the 2023 general elections, largely depends on the National Assembly and its leadership that will be saddled with the responsibility of leading healing process and rebuilding mutual trust amongst the grieved divide across the country. The group also asserted that some of the Northern senators jostling for the position of Senate president are only interested in their future and political gains and not based on patriotic desire to restore peace and development in the country. They also asked the leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, to allow elected lawmakers to choose the best amongst themselves that will lead them rather than zoning the position of the Senate president to a particular region. As we move to the next phase of politicking, which involves determining the leadership of the red and green chambers of the National Assembly, it is important that we ensure power is distributed fairly across the nation. As the Ariwa Young Professionals in Politics, we are urging the APC leadership and the President-elect to carefully consider the need for political inclusion in the 2023 power equation. Specifically, we call on them to, one, zone the Senate presidency to southeastern part of Nigeria for political inclusion. Two, zone the speakership to the northwestern part of Nigeria for political compensation, being it that the northwest zone gave the highest vote to the APC government. Three, ensure that the leadership of the National Assembly projects our religious diversity for national cohesion. These steps will go a long way in promoting unity and national integration. We implore the APC leadership and the president-elect to employ wisdom in making these decisions. We are all aware the race for the seat of the Senate President of 10th Senate is on. Alliances are made, deals are currently being sealed, and sides are taken by various interest groups. It is equally true that Nigeria has just come out of historically divisive elections, which has polarized the country along critical divides. Consequent upon that, the road leading to the healing process and rebuilding the mutual trust among various aggrieved divides majorly depend on the National Assembly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.